The two security guards were shot as they drove to work at the Israeli embassy. The previously unknown group called the Jordanian Islamic Resistance claimed responsibility for the attack, the first of its kind since Israel opened an embassy in Amman two years ago. Luckily, injuries to both men were minor. Uh, we have one patient who has had uh, bullet wounds in both thighs, not of a serious uh, nature and he's being operated right now. The incident occurred as Israeli security forces tried to track down Islamic militants in the West Bank, responsible for recent suicide bombings in Jerusalem. Dozens of suspects were arrested and Palestinians complained of harassment as entire towns were sealed off. Many soldiers came to us, to our house, and they searched every room, everything in the house. They damaged many things. This man said soldiers were looking for his brother, Mahmoud, who didn't even live there anymore, amid the unrest a call for resolution. And in spite of the fact there are terrorists, either individual or groups of terrorists, who try to bring an end to the peace process, we should not submit to them. Under no circumstances. The former Israeli premier, who saw negotiations with the, the Palestinians so make so much progress, urged his people to not to lose sight of the ultimate goal of a lasting peace.